Hey guys. All right. So I've got my basic colors here. I'm not a colorist. I don't, I, I don't consider myself a good colorist. Uh, at best, I seem to struggle really, really, really hard until I have something that I can live with. <laughs> but sometimes, especially when you're doing creator own comics and that sort of thing, it's a necessity, you know? Um, what am I going to do here? I don't know um, You know, and I've got uh, Taki coloring this, but. Um, you know, there's still pieces of my own that I want to color myself. You know, I know she'd do a better job than I would. But this is what creator own stuff is about, right? It's, it's about like sometimes it's, it's highly personal and you want to do something on your own. Um, so I've switched over back to Photoshop. I could do this stuff in um, Clip Studio, but there is there are going to be a few things that I only kind of know how to do um, in Photoshop because I'm still learning certain things. Um, one of the things I want to try to attempt was this big shadow shape going over Una from the dragon. But I gotta figure out how I want to do that. And I'll just draw the shape of the shadow going across her, or the way I see it going across her, and the foreground. Actually, I guess it would be cool to have it going around her. Look at that. Um, I'll just take this really dark blue that's already here and just do that whole shape like that. Shut off the backgrounds, the inks, so it's just the color layers of so let's just select everything, all the colors. Oh, wrong layer. everything. Delete it. Now I should have, hopefully I've done this right, a shadow going over. Yeah, there we go. Interesting how that made her red hair very similar to the dragon in the back. But I like the basic effect. Um, I'll have to clean up some of it, but uh, First, let's see if I can Yeah, kinda like that. Also I can play around with these layers here. Oops, that's the wrong thing. Yeah, it's just sand oil. I was trying to play with the shadow layer here. Let's see what happens. That's kind of interesting. Like I think it pops more than just uh, 
too, because I, I, I'm not super familiar with all these layers and what exactly they do. I tend to just kind of scan through them until I find something that I like. I'm not sure if that's the way to do things or not. I kind of like that. But <clears throat> I want her hair to pop, so let's let's get just this uh, hair right here. Let's go back to the shadow, and I could fully just delete it. I mean, that's pretty cool, right? That's pretty neat. I don't know. We'll see. We'll, we'll play around with it later. All right. I'm gonna start doing. I should layer uh, label all this stuff too, right? I'm sorry, I don't know if you can tell I'm like hitting the end of the day. But I had like this uh, I had a busy day today, um, of like running around and doing stuff, so like I'm I'd really like to get stuff done here. Even though this isn't like really pressing, um, I have an inner need to just make I got the wrong glasses to make sure <laughs> I get some shit done. Um, and I think it's important to share this stuff because a lot of you are artists who are working, say, um, maybe just on weekends or just at night, you know, because you got families, you got day jobs, that sort of thing. And um, I'm sure you struggle with it, like finding the time and the energy. So even though I don't have those things any longer, I want you to know that I'm still with you. There are still days where other things get in the way. Like even when you get the dream of just being a comic book artist and just getting to create comic books all day and night. You still have days where things get in your way and, and all you want to do is get something done so it feels like you've done something, you know? My favorite trick, I go to control U and then I lighten it. This is coming together nicely, right? I think. I can't tell. Because I'm just tired. Um, I'm going to try this technique, a little bit of blurring on the colors here. There's got to be a better way of doing this. Is it the size of the brush that I'm using? Like I just want it to be more blurry than this. I don't know, somebody can tell me what's a better way to, to blur things. And maybe I can just kind of select the area and then blur it some. Let's try that. Well, if I did like a brush kind of thing, it will probably work as well. And doing those hard cuts that I did over there, I'm not sure if that works so well now. The, the blurring, I'm not sure. 
happens. We get experimental here. Before I get too invested and do this all the way around, let's give it a quick shot and see what happens. Got ocean blur, however the fuck you say it. Okay, yeah, this will work. Yeah, let's try this. I've never done this before. Probably making a fool of myself in front of people who know better. But that's okay. I'm used to it. Almost there, guys. I am excited to be done with this and then go downstairs and have some apple pie. Because, I don't know, oh, you see all these little white spots? I should stop now because I did not fill this out correctly. Well, I'll finish up that little blurring effect. Oh, I hate it. <laughs> oh, I hate it. Well, you know what? All right, here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to quit now. I'm going to save it. Maybe I'll come back to it later. Look at it with fresh eyes. Um, yeah. But like I said, I think it's important to share with you guys too when things don't work out, you know. Um, and, uh,. You know, it's just one of those days. It's just, uh, it's almost there, but not quite. And, you know, obviously I'm not feeling it. And, and I can't imagine this is too fun to watch. So, um, we'll come back to it. We'll try it again. All right, guys.